The Oracle Solaris System Administration class is the first class you'll take as a Solaris 11 System Administrator. We assume that you've already taken a Unix Essentials class or have equivalent experience working in the Unix environment. This course is going to teach basic to intermediate topics in system administration. We're going to, speak, we're going to begin by spending time in the ILOM environment and the open boot environments. These are two areas that many sysadmin classes tend to skip over. It has more to do with the hardware than the operating system. But it's an important area for the new system administrator to understand. You need to understand how to power on and power off the system through ILOM. You need to understand how to update the firmware. You need to understand how to access the console through a network. You need to understand how to access open boot from ILOM. You need to understand how to configure ILOM, uh, configure the fault management architecture within ILOM so when there's a hardware problem, it notifies you of the hardware problem. You need to understand the open boot environment and how to configure the open boot environment. This is where we control the boot up process on our system. And then finally, we'll talk about Solaris 11 and how it starts up. We'll talk about loading the kernel and how the service management facility kicks in. So we'll talk about SMF. The service management facility is where you're going to enable and disable services. It's where you're going to tighten down the security on your system. It's where you're going to configure your system. So you have to have a very good understanding of the service management facility. We'll also talk about the image packaging system, IPS. This is where software packages get installed, uninstalled, updated. But we also need to set up a repository, so you need to understand the IPS repository, how to configure a local repository, how to update that repository, because that is how you're going to update the operating system. You need to understand boot environments and how boot environments are used during the update process and how you can utilize boot environments to update the OS on a running system. This is one of the unique features in Solaris. I'll describe devices how hardware devices are passed on to the kernel and how you see those devices in the operating system. It's very important that you're able to backtrack or trace devices from the OS all the way back to the hardware component because when the operating system reports on a hardware failure, you need to know where that device is located and how to reach it. We'll spend a lot of time on storage devices, SAN storage, local storage, We'll talk about the different types of file systems that are available in Solaris 11. Specifically, we'll focus in on the default file system, the ZFS file system. This is the default file system for the root operating system. We're going to talk about how to back up the root pool, how to restore the root pool whenever there's corruption or damage. We're going to talk about how the system boots to the root pool. We're going to talk about how to create root pools and ZFS file systems for our data. So you're going to learn how to create zpools, ZFS file systems, how to manage those file systems, backup and restore those file systems utilizing snapshots and off-site backups. I'm going to talk about the different methods used to install the operating system. I'll have you install the operating system yourself. You'll install the operating system on a physical system. You'll install the operating system in a logical domain and you'll also install the operating system in a zone. Those are all environments that you are more than likely going to encounter. We'll talk about creating user accounts, but we'll also talk about root and the root role and how the root role gets created during the installation process and how the role is a special type of account different than a regular Unix account. We'll talk about how to manage and monitor system processes. You'll understand how to secure the system by tightening down the different components in the OS, especially going through the service management facility, understanding the properties of a service and how to change those properties to control how that service starts up and how it operates. We'll talk about security features in Solaris 11 and how you can tighten down the operating system to protect the OS environment. I'll describe how to configure the network interface, how to configure network services, how to tighten down and secure network services. In addition, I'll talk about virtual network components, how to configure those. You'll understand Solaris virtualization concepts as they apply to zones, containers, 
and the network. I'll teach you how to create zones, how to administer zones, how to boot and shut down zones, how to back up and restore zones. I'll describe how to set up a virtual network between zones. I'll teach you how to manage crash dumps and core files. And then finally, we'll go through some troubleshooting techniques, techniques that I've picked up over 30 years of working as a contract system administrator at over 200 companies. So I hope you take this class. I look forward to being your instructor and also your mentor throughout the process of learning to administer a Solaris 11 system on the Spark platform.